So guys, this is a video where I want you to introduce something that's online that you can install. ML4W.files from Stefan Raba. I'm not sure if I made already a video about it, but um, here it is. There's some deals to be made first with you guys, and that's one, I'm not supporting it. Two, besides this video, I'm not going to explain anything more. All the help you need to have comes from Stefan, that's one. Two, you'll have to remove our hyperland completely. Not only the applications, but the configurations. It's a lot of overwriting of code. So setting it back is the only way. Clean install from Arconet hyperland and get it back, right? So it's overwriting apps, config of all kinds, putting a lot of software, but it works as you can see, right? More than that, there are two scripts and one for Arch and one for Fedora. So it is really fine tuned for these two guys and we're an Arch. So here it is, ML4W welcome. Let's first um, take a look maybe here as well, settings. This is a drop down of all kinds of things that can, you can set, installation options, settings, hyperlink, .file settings, activate this thing or not, right? Super, enter. This another thing, these are not our key bindings. You need to learn everything again. So super enter is going to be this. And as you see, the, the screen there is, has been changed a little bit of design. But oh my posh, I don't know what it is. Command not found. So you need to edit a file somewhere in the Bash RC, I suppose, because we are on shell and figure out what this thing is. Do I need to install something more? Is there something missing, a typo, whatever, right? Not up to me to fix any of it. Super B seems to be the browser. That's going to be Firefox. Control Super. That's this and that and enter. We get this. We can launch OBS Studio, which is recording right now. Firefox, okay? So everything is still there. Software is basically the Arconet. And then let's see if we can move this over here iso no it's gone right it's gone <laughs> all the key bindings update another thing it's everything is overwritten but i can do a cat etc device rel so we start with arconet 241101 and now we do our thing control super s control super S is this control super S to open hyperlink settings script control super S. I guess it's this thing control super S. No, so whatever it is, it's not activating, and neither is it on my second screen, which could always be good possible, right? Super Q, ah, that's working. Super Q, super enter is this, super shift enter is nothing super b maybe and then you go and have a look right that that, that was super b i guess super b yeah that was it super a super z super e super r super t and over it goes now there's of course a better way to do this but that was actually a good one super e is actually a good one it is files or something what is this called what is this thing and we see files probably right so it says and i believe he asked in the script to have dot files um, nothing in there anyway but you need to figure out where all the elements are there's an hyper panel folder here Control h there is a dot config somewhere is there information in here hyper hyper panel that's going to somewhere else it seems to be a link and here's hyperland conf and let's read super f yeah so this is a new configuration that you need to study 
is going to source all kinds of things, a little bit for the environment, a little bit for keyboards, a little bit for coloring, for the wall. The wall is to, to, to color some, some elements of your system, like terminals, and so on, right? And so on. Um, I was going to look for something. Let's see. Let's go here, one up, drop it in here. Oh, it's already in there. So you never look at all these elements, hyperland, hyper idle, scripts, all kind of things, shaders, effects, configurations, and here are probably more things like auto start. I would like to know what is started automatically, execute this, execute that. Okay. The cursor is gonna be this one, custom configuration, decoration, conf, environment stuff. So here's a lot of information here's the keyboard i wanted to have a belgian keyboard layout i have to look at this particular file so in the conf conf layouts default conf layouts default so it's going to go deeper with this one so everything is split up into elements key bindings probably what i wanted to read right what are my key bindings those are my key bindings. Total animations, screenshots, and I have to study. And that's of course the fun. Study code of somebody else. You see a little bit transparent. Um, so yeah, just wanted to let you know that again, if you do go this way, right? It's not up to me to fix your system. It's up to you to um, ask well to figure it out for one or ask information at stefan arava github so that's this one this was ai i think ai support chat gpt link this was ml4 we can all do kind of things like this it's gone for some time the hour is there That's gonna be the Monday. So date format, show apps, menu, show settings module. Maybe you don't like the AI chat model, that one. So that one is gone. So entirely clickable, usable, right? A lot of things to change, maybe a wallpaper, off and on, black, white, blur. I don't know if we have to save something or not okay wallpaper cache on and off system custom configuration kitty so have a look at all the possibilities so that's one of the apps but there are think i think there are more apps still way bar button black it's going to be this so it's this it is really you feel that if you venture away in this, it has um, a lot of possibilities, right? A lot of work went into this. And um, it's now up to you to learn basically a new distro, right? A new system, new operating system. It's hybrid, sure. But so many things have changed that it really is something to learn well, from scratch again. This is wallpapers. Caching wallpaper is he's busy. I think. Right, they're probably gonna work, right? But um, there you go. How about this guy? Do we need? Yeah, voila. So things like that make it super simple to add maybe a folder. Probably gonna work. Let's see. First time ever, right? Um, so name. All the wallpapers of the Linux distributions are in user, share, and then often in backgrounds. Not always, but often. So here we have the Arclex wallpapers. There you go. All right. So, ah, it is blurred now. I do not have my waybar anymore. Ah, there he is. So it resets itself probably after 
the way bar. So I don't know where I put it, but somewhere I told him that the oops. Right. Again, right, not up to me guys, right up to me. Try it out. Maybe a reboot is gonna help this thing not launching or maybe it's um ML4 or something. But these are the guys you need to ask. ML4W, diagnosis, hyperlink, diagnosis, hyperlink setup, options, QTA diagnosis. Look at that. Settings, sidebar, update. Voila. Those are the things you need to learn. What is this all about? And of course, enjoy this beautiful thing up here. This is nice and it's colored because of the wallpaper, right? The wallpaper is blue. So is this thing. That's wall for you. All right. Generate color schemes on the fly. You change the wallpaper on the fly, this changes. All right, enough publicity. Have a look at it again. If you go through all the applications and it's gonna overwrite completely Acrylinx, right? And you won't get it back unless you reinstall, clean install for the rest. Ask Stefan um, for, for questions or issues, right? But have fun figuring things out, which is basically the goal of Acrylinx, learn. Cheers.